Today we will be working on an iPad motherboard that was mailed in to us from Los Angeles. So the person who mailed it is not too far away, our neighbor, maybe 25 minutes away. And what I see in the box is this. A customer sent the motherboard and he sent a small tiny part in this bag. We're going to find out what that part is. And the only other thing in the box is a return shipping label. That's it. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? I see another part here. Anything else? Okay, this... I do not know what this is. Let's take a look under the microscope. And anything in this bag? Nothing. I took my iPad apart and broke the solder off. One of them might be the power plugs. I need an expert to resolder. I hope you can offer me a good price for your time. Thanks in advance for your help. So let's take a look at what's going on here. This cannot be resoldered onto the board because it's a broken piece of board. This is a broken piece of board. It cannot be resoldered. 8983. I believe this is a compass chip. This is a compass I see. The board should work without it. We do not have a circuit diagram for this board, but I know this chip from iPhone 5s. I've worked with this chip before. And if I'm not mistaken, 8963 is a compass chip. So this board cannot be reattached on here. There are wires within the layers of the board. And the wires are the pads that connect under the IC, under the components, and all that stuff. They connect to the other board. This is something that cannot be reattached. We're going to let the customer know. Customer also sent this tiny part here. It looks like it came from the flex cable that attaches to the motherboard, which is right over here. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and see how we go about reattaching this broken connector. Just applied some plugs. That's it. So we did this as safely as possible. We heated up solder on the board at 350 degrees. Very good. Now, if I want to make this look nice and pretty, we can just apply a tiny bit of flux and then I can use the soldering iron, the tip of the soldering iron to make it look good. I do not have to do this. I always like things to look nice and pretty. And that's what happens when you strive for perfection. All right, so that's it. Short video, but unfortunately that's all we can do for this board. Maybe I'll do something else and attach it to this video. The next device we're going to be working on is coming from Michigan. And the guy paid $19 to ship it via this box. I do not know why the post office charged him $19. This is a flat rate, medium size priority box. It should cost no more than $14. Now this box is not labeled as flat rate. That's why they added five more dollars on top of what they should charge. Anytime you want to use this size box, 
just get the flat rate medium box. It's exactly the same size and it's $14. The post office always tries to charge as much as they can, but medium flat rate box should cost you no more than $14. I mean, look at this. These boxes are the same. These boxes are the same. This one says priority mail, and this one says priority mail, medium flat rate box, exactly the same size. This one is $14, this one is $19. This tablet came in for a charge import repair. A uh, customer did not fill out the form online, he just printed the form and he wrote with a pencil. This is the SM T580 Samsung Tab A Galaxy. Charging port is something. I cannot read the handwriting here. Big Boss already removed the motherboard of the tablet. And I just want to come to the point where I finish everything that we have in here and start reorganizing the shop. Right now, I barely have time to organize anything in here. I just want to get the stuff repaired and done with. We're taking longer than usual on some of the repairs and customers are starting to ask where's my device where's my device i'm working as fast as i can and i'm the only one who solders in the shop here just quick check up as you can see this is a seven pin port the first thing we're going to do is apply some low melt solder on the front pins and the back legs so we can lower the melting temperature of the solder. That way we apply as little heat as possible to that board. We always use the safest way to do the repair. A lot of people would apply a lot of heat onto the board to remove that port. It can be done, but it's not safe. The board can warp, components can fly away, the board can bubble up. A lot of things can go wrong when you apply a lot of heat onto the board. So we're going to be using low melt solder. So we applied low melt solder to all the pins and the legs. Now all we have to do is just apply a little bit of hot air to remove that port. All right. It took a little bit more time to remove the port even with the low melt solder because there's unleaded under the port itself that we were not able to get to. Anywhere that we have low melt solder, look, it's still soft. Still soft. That's what's nice about low melt solder. It melts quickly and it stays soft for maybe five, six, seven seconds. It depends on the temperature that you applied. Right now it hardened and let's clean those pads. Very good. So for this port, we're going to grab it from the 500 USB box that we are currently selling on our website. This box has 100 different types of charging ports. And I know for a fact that uh, this port is in compartment number 35. I'm going to grab the port from compartment number 35. Okay, let's compare this one to the one that we removed. 
so this is the old one here and this is the the new one that we just got from compartment number 35 and as you can see this is a seven pin port and the same port will also fix T585 so we're gonna put the port right over here and I'm gonna start by soldering the front pins and then we'll flip the board and solder the back legs the reason we do not solder the backs first is because if we flip the board, the board is going to fall back down and it's not going to make a flat connection with the pads. We need to apply some flux. And fume extractor. I'm going to pre-apply solder onto the soldering iron tip. Now, press and hold the connector down so the pins can make a flat connection with the pads. I'm going to use a bigger tip for the legs. That's it. The back is done. Let's clean up and then we'll finish off with the front pins. Okay, we may need just a little bit more solder on this leg right here. So with those four legs, the port is not going anywhere. And the job is done. Clean up, we'll test the pins, and Big Boss will reassemble this. Okay, and let's test. Pin number one, very good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. Big Boss is gonna reassemble the tablet.
So the tablet is currently charging at 156. And the tablet is charging. It's currently at 1%. Awesome, awesome. So we're gonna invoice the customer and ship it back to him. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video. I'm gonna leave the tablet charging so we can ship it back to the customer fully charged.